Hey, how's it going? Uh, today I'm looking at a little refrigerator. Uh, this is a little mini fridge. We're looking at the back of it. Let me show you the front of it. Um, this little mini fridge right here, um, I use in my basement to uh, keep drinks cool. And uh, I just recently went to go get a Gatorade out of it, and it was it was warm, and there was water all on the inside of it, so it's messed up. Um, and something I thought I'd show you guys is how I go about troubleshooting these things. I've fixed a couple of these before, and sometimes it's easy. Um, a lot of times these uh, super small uh, refrigeration systems like dehumidifiers and cube refrigerators are just kind of disposable, which means if it tears up, you throw it away, which is kind of unfortunate. But you at least want to rule that out first. So let me show you a little bit about how um, I always check these things out before I toss them. So something to keep in mind is just how ridiculously simple the electrical diagram of this thing is. I mean, there's really nothing to this. This is super simple. Uh, so there's not a lot of electrical components on here to go wrong. Um, you really get to everything from here at the bottom. Um, this is a refrigeration system, so it has a compressor. That's this big box right here. Now this black thing is the compressor. Uh, and then you'll see copper pipes going in and out of it. Um, and uh, a cord. So one thing I always do, and this is awfully simple, is I'll just plug it in and listen to see if I hear the compressor. Okay, I just plug that in and I do not hear the compressor at all. I heard a click the compressor is warm, of course it was just plugged in recently. I heard a click, but I don't hear the buzzing of the compressor motor. Okay, um, so that might mean the starter's messed up. Take a look at this. Uh, see where there's a compressor right there, and then there's this uh, PTC starter. Um, that could be what's wrong, and that's usually in this enclosure here, so let's check that out. This. Uh, I have a feeling underneath this housing is where that starter is, and uh, I've got the thing unplugged right now. Um, looking underneath it to try to figure out how that housing's on there. It looks like it's probably just clipped on somehow. There's that housing that came off. Okay, so if you pull these wires back like this, you can see there's a little black box right here um, where the wires are plugged into and then it um, connects to the compressor. So. Okay, so um, this was situated in here like this, um, and these three pins are what connects to the compressor. You see the three pins right here, and this is pretty typical. I don't know if you can see all three of them. So there's three. That's pretty typical on these little small compressors. That's how they hook up. So this is that little um, starter piece I took off of that compressor. Um, a lot of these markings on the back are agency listings. Um, note the JPQII or JPQ2, Roman numeral 2, appears right there and it appears right here on the end, the JPQ2-4.7. Uh, so if I just do a uh, Google search for JPQ2, um, I get some hits. The top hit is an item on uh, Amazon.com right here. Let's take a look at that. Um, and lo and behold, um, this is our part. And it looks like I can buy it here for $2.49. So what I'm going to do, uh, certainly before I throw that refrigerator in the uh, trash, is uh, buy one of these and just try plugging it in and see if that fixes it. I ordered the new piece. and. Uh, it's a it's, it's PTC relay, starter relay. And uh, so, you know, this is the old one. It's got a 
one quarter inch quick connect tab there and it's got the two holes for the compressor pins in the back and the new one you can see is identical so let's plug this thing in see if it fixes it okay we're just gonna um, reverse the process to reassemble this thing now and um, this was actually kind of together like this if you remember when we took it apart Oh, and this was plugged into here. We'll just put this plastic cover back over all the wires. Okay, that thing snapped on. It looks like it's on there pretty secure. All we're going to do now is take this thing and plug it in and uh, see what we get. All right. Don't know if you could hear the sound over the video, but this compressor is humming now, so that's a good sign. Another way to see whether or not these things are working is the um, suction and discharge lines uh, should have a temperature difference. So, um, like looking at this thing like this, so there's a line going in and out of this compressor, and um, uh, one should be uh, you know, colder than the other one once this thing is working. If you feel this line here, it is nice and warm now. It's getting hot. Um, and this line is cool. So, probably means this thing's working. Okay guys, um, thanks for watching my video on how to fix this little mini fridge here. It turned out to be an easy fix. Uh, for the most part on stuff that's got a little refrigeration system in it like that, like I said, if it's an electrical problem, you can fix it. If it's not, it's disposable. Those uh, closed sealed refrigeration systems on these little compact type systems and de dehumidifiers and fridges and stuff, you can't really do anything with them so you just toss them. But uh, So this little guy, um, why well, here was the problem. Um, cheap little part, ended up fixing this thing really cheap. Um, I fixed several of these mini fridges in the, in the past. Sometimes I've uh, put new thermostats on them. Uh, I think I've even done this part on one before. It's been a while but uh, listen, thanks for watching my video. I hope it was useful to you. Maybe you were able to fix your fridge too and save you some money. Okay? Um, uh, hit the uh, subscribe button on my channel if you have it. And uh, hit the little bell so you get notified if I do a new video. I don't new, new, do new videos very often. It's kind of at random, but that way you get notification if I do a new one. Alright? Thanks. Talk to you later, guys.